um, you start something until you start some action. Mm, okay, project profile to do late, not test, not test, and test. Okay, these things here uh, is not implemented in any, any way. Okay, it's just ideas of things that I could do f uh, to um, know if I've been, uh, let's say, know the sta status of the model, so if, if the model is almost complete or almost incomplete or something like this. Okay. Because, I mean, not everything in the, in the the model will work and not everything will be able to be converted in, in code right away maybe you, you need more time or something like this so uh, you're probably going to apply some of those profiles and probably you you may or you can okay make a transformation and check off all these stereotypes here and uh, see how it is is going your your the process okay something like this <coughs> just just some one idea mm, the hello world project okay this this is things uh, this is my big hello world project okay I have a lot of packages and a lot of tables a lot of uh, um, how to say lots of behaviors also and I have some uh, things that yes is different for example using the uh, state machine diagram to represent a menu okay, I'm going I'm using straight machine diagram for, for represent almost everything here okay except by the class diagram that I'm using also but I'm using class diagrams and I'm using uh, state machine diagram so uh, let's see some things okay uh, I have these packages here uh, I have two versions. Uh, I guess I'm going to publish the second version, the second, the, the version that I'm, I'm refactoring, the most incomplete version, something like this. And I have some packages here. That I have dependencies. Okay, so everything depends on this core package. Okay, receivement, client, credit protection, whatever. Everything depends on it. And recently, I've studied about uh, content providers. So I'm going to put every every information from each table here in this package. Okay? And the, those older uh, older uh, packages maybe they they will have uh, business logic related to client or related to receivement, okay? related to something that they will present. But the data will be in this package here. So I'm going to use this uh, this way to build the application okay this uh, structure I'm going to use a content provider good I'm working this right now I'm working on in the content provider okay and uh, I have a previous version where I, um, I was putting everything on its own packages for example the clients table in the clients package <coughs> I mean generating uh, I'm going to generate uh, each one of these will be a project okay <coughs> so I have project uh, com dot my name dot core com my store dot core something like this com store cash com store receiving com store whatever you want you know all all of those packages and I, I thought to myself I'm going to make a, a content provider on each of this those projects here and then they communicate with each other. I thought with myself, but it happens to be too difficult, and um, I don't have time for difficult things right now. You know, I, I need to get results, so I just put all the databases on this. I'll put the databases here, okay? And oh, in here you have, you will have the um, will gener it will be generated the behavior of the things okay the business logic and also um, it will access the content provider okay we'll, we'll have some kind of for example 
I'm in the client, I know that the, the mm, I'm missing a word right now, interface, yes, I know the interface of, of the client, okay, yeah, because I, I'll know how to create a form, to install clients, whatever, everything about the client, okay, so I know the interface, and from here, I will receive a cursor, okay, so I'm going to take this cursor and convert to a client here, okay, so I'm going to uh, give me a client here from core, okay, and the core will give the client to this thing, to this, this uh, project here, it will be a project, a different project, all of those projects in the, uh, the, the Android, okay, I'm going to, I, I thought of selling everything, um, how to say the packages? Uh, okay, I, I, I thought to myself of selling the uh, not the entire application, but um, modules. Okay, um, I thought of making modules, making modular. So that's the way I found it. I, I found to make it, and the high difficulty that, that I had here is that uh, the case that I cannot. Um, how to say update? You know, and the way I make my updating is finding the the ID in the server. Okay, mapping the ID from the server to the ID of the client. And um, if I have um, if I have how to say. Foreign keys. If I have foreign keys, it's very difficult because I, I need to uh, find the the, uh, the foreign keys for you know I, I need find the, the ID and I need to find the foreign key and it, it's difficult you know I, I think it's not not so um, not so good okay because. I mean, if, if I have the dependencies between the packages, I'm not going to explain it, explain it right now. So that's why I decided to make uh, to put everything in this core package, okay? Uh, to turn things easy and to get results faster, okay. just because of it. Okay, core model. I'm not going to show you details. You can see this document maybe if you want it, okay? And supply, discount model, sales, sale, receivement, cash, client, credit protection, and my menu definition. As you can see, I'm using the uh, state machine diagram, but it's, I'm not seeing it as a state machine anymore. It's just the menu. You know, I have this name here, I have boot on login logout. So this, this is the application of the screen profile. Okay, I, I've told you before, boot and login logout. So when you click it, you know, it will have, something will happen. But here you have only the definition of the My Menu. So I, I have another, another um, diagram, which is the My Menu behavior or something like that. Okay. So cash, cash flow, list region, insert region, okay, and insert region, insert region. So I have my my um, supplier. For example, supplier is the uh, factory which builds the products or something like this. I'm, I'm going to insert in the database. So right right now I I need the crude for this. I, I don't need many details. I, it's not a process. Just inserting in the database. And that's it. So I put it put it as a group page. So I'll be able to select, to list, insert, update, and delete. Yeah. Contact also for for stock. I don't know why his name is contact, but maybe it's the contact contact of the supplier. Okay, it's, it's the contact of the supply contact or something like this. <coughs> um, this is a custom page, which means that uh, it will have a custom state machine, okay, another custom page. Uh, mm, custom page, missing products, um, availability, I don't know if it's availability because I cannot read it. 
the, the whole name. I, I can't read it if I take the, the, the diagram, but I'm, I'm on a PDF right now, so I not see it. I, I have this diagram, okay? Um, let's see, when, when I publish the code, of it, you also have this. But I'm just showing you. Uh, sales points, you see it. So it's just custom page. It is all these things here are processes, okay? So I have a process for starting a sale. Uh, I have a process to uh, taking this, this receipt, you know? And I have a process for devolutions. Yeah, I'm trying to bring, bring back the, the product and I'm going to give back the money or maybe I'm going to give back credits for him. Yeah, so receivement, um, custom page, list region.